Hey Glam Fam, welcome to my new channel. If you are not familiar with me, I do have another channel here on YouTube and it is called Maddie's Glam Life. But I realized that everyone is always asking me about my nails and whether or not I do my own nails. And yes, you guys, I most certainly do. It was something that I started a little bit before the pandemic actually hit and it was something that just continued on after that. Since of course, I really didn't want to go to the nail shops and when I did go y'all I just did not like my nails so I'm starting off by drilling off that top coat that I have on I really don't have on polish and if I do I think it's very very sheer so I'm just filing that off so that I can do my fill in now y'all I ended up with this broken nail and you guys this happened I had just got out of the shower honey I was drying off and then nail just said boop now for those y'all that do not know these are my natural nails I have been growing these out for a while now and you guys when that nail broke it just broke my little heart now I do have an acrylic overlay over my natural nails which has helped them to last this long because I've always struggled with growing my nails but there are a few other tips and tricks that I have been using to grow out my nails so I will be sharing that with you guys in the near future but of course I'm just starting with the normal prep which is pushing back the cuticles making sure that that gel polish is completely fouled off and also making sure that my cuticles are as clean as possible so that I won't have any lifting okay because honey I absolutely despise lifting let me tell you now I want to make sure that I let you guys know that everything will be listed down below so if you're interested in anything that I'm using in this video don't forget to check out the description box I am by no means a professional when it comes to nails I just do what works for me and you guys whenever I face a broken nail or any type of issues with my nails I've never struggled with fixing it so I'm like you know what let me share with my newbies like me how I do my nails okay very simple very easy and honey you can save yourself a quick coin so that you're not running back and forth to the nail salon when whenever something goes wrong or they're not looking at you like it's something that you did whenever a nail gets broken so you guys it's a simple easy hobby and it's also extremely relaxing must I say now your girl just reached 35,000 glam stars over there on Maddie's glam life so if you are not subscribed over there and you somehow have stumbled across this video on YouTube I definitely recommend that you guys head over and check out my channel I'm currently sharing with you guys my pregnancy journey amongst a lot of other things within my life so make sure that you are a part of that journey and oh honey that's another reason why I love to stay out of the nail shops because your girl is pregnant and I'm trying to be around as least people as possible so doing my nails at home has definitely helped so what I'm doing here is I'm just filing my nails I like for my nails to be crispy honey okay I don't like no rough edges and I noticed a lot of times with having your natural nails grow under acrylic sometimes those natural nails can tend to stray under there or you might get a little hangnail or whatever the case may be so I'm just getting rid of all of those dead ends okay because they got to go honey we need to have a smooth finish all right so on this channel i definitely plan on doing the nail hacks and different things like that So now I'm moving on over to that broken nail and what I'm going to do is start by filing off that top coat and then you guys are going to see me file down the acrylic here okay. Now this nail broke down pretty far. Um, you can salvage your nail if you'd like to. I ended up clipping mines down but if you choose to I think that that's the better option since I will be applying a tip okay. And as you guys can see this nail is a little bit less than half the length of my other nail. So now as you guys can see I'm pulling out those false tips honey because we need them in our lives and what I'm going to do is pick out the perfect size for this fingernail okay. 
Now make sure that you are picking out the right size. You don't want it to be too big because then it'll make the nail look bulky. And you also don't want it to be too little because then it's just going to pop off and it's not going to last. So make sure that you're picking out your right size. And now as you guys can see, I'm clipping down my natural nail, which absolutely hurt my little heart. But y'all, it had to be done. It had to be done because baby, I want for my nails to look as smooth and as nice as possible. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my McCart nail glue and I'm going to put this false tip on. Now, if y'all are not aware, McCart has the best, when I say the best, the best nail glue that there is out there on the market. So definitely check it out, you guys. And if you are enjoying this video so far and finding it helpful, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure that you hit that like button and leave a comment. I always encourage you guys to leave a comment over on Maddie's Glam Life. So you can leave something as simple as an emoji, a hey girl, how you doing? A hey girl, I'm new here. I ain't never seen you before. Anything that you guys would like to leave, go ahead and leave it down below. And now, as you guys can see, I am going to dehydrate my natural nails. You do not have to apply this to the area where there is acrylic. Just simply apply it to your natural nails. And this is going to help them to hold on a little bit better. This is going to suck all the oils out of your nails because, you guys, the oils is what can typically cause lifting a lot of the times. So make sure that you do not skip this step. You can also use alcohol if you do not have the primer that I used. And next, I'm going to take a protein bun. Now, this is going to help the acrylic to stick to my natural nails. So it's going to help it to hold on. It's also going to prevent lifting and things like that, you guys. So amazing step that you do not want to skip out on. This was something else that I noticed. A lot of times when I went to nail shops, this was a step that they'd skip out on. And honey, let me tell you, it makes a world of a difference. Now today I'm going to be using my Mia Secret. I typically always use Mia Secret when it comes to doing acrylic nails. So I'm using their liquid monomer. I am also using their acrylic as well. And you guys, this works best for me. Um, there are a few other acrylic brands that I've tried, but this one has been my favorite and it has lasted the best on me and also they have the best prices, let's face it. Now it was super duper hard for me recording this acrylic part, but what this video is all about is that broken now now I didn't too much show um, how I applied my acrylic overlay on the nail because it was fairly simple all I did was file it to match the rest of my nails and you guys I simply applied acrylic on it all over um, and it was really just that simple that's how I fixed my broken nail so that I don't have to cut down all of these nails that I've worked so hard on growing by the way you guys this is my favorite acrylic color everything will be listed down down below so you can check out the description box or you can check out the first comment pinned down below in order to see exactly what I'm using. Now I'm using the nail attic color today in white attic and I'm also going to be using some glitter you guys and I don't think that I featured it in this video but I did end up using a gold from the same model ones kit that this shiny platinum gel ended up coming out of so it will be listed down below they all came in a set together um, but mostly this blue is the star of the show and you guys I ended up using blue because I am actually going to a funeral and the colors in the funeral are blue basically all shades of blue any blue whatever blue honey so <laughs> I definitely wanted to do something in honor of that so um, what I'm starting off with is applying white now this is just going to be a little outline um, as you guys will see on my other hand I did end up doing the white as well but I did like a French design on my other hand which I didn't show in this video but we all know how to do a French design right and if you don't honey I'm gonna show you soon okay um, but all that I'm doing is applying this in just basically an odd shape okay um, nothing serious all that you do is just paint it on however you feel like painting it in whichever direction okay and the more messy well, I wouldn't say messy but the more like this isn't really meant to be here that you can make it look the better okay because it's gonna blend in a lot better with the blue so yeah, I'm just starting by doing that and I'm going to finish up the rest of my fingers and I'm going to cure this for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to move on to the next step.
Now next, as you guys can see, I'm going in with my glitter. And you guys, this stuff right here is so pretty. I don't even think that the camera did it justice, okay? Especially when you get into a certain kind of light. It's just so beautiful. So I'm placing this where you can still kind of see the white. Um, but I'm just... I don't know kind of doing like a little design that's the best way that I can explain it so I'm placing it kind of like it's out of place as well but like it's supposed to be here it's a look it's a design and then I'm going in with the silver and I'm kind of going to outline that blue now what you guys may notice towards the end of this video is I also ended up outlining the blue with gold as well because I felt like the silver blended in too much with the blue so I wasn't really feeling it like I should have been but once I added that gold baby I was like yes yes now this is the look that I'm going for because it made that blue pop out so beautifully so of course right here I'm just simply outlining that blue Now I'm going in with the top coat. Always make sure to top coat all of your gel designs, you guys. This helps them to stay in place. And it also helps the design to feel a lot more smooth and to look a lot more smooth. After that, I simply cure for 60 seconds and voila, here is your design. Now, if you're interested in my midi rings, make sure that you check out the links down below in order to purchase them, just like every other thing that is used in this video. And y'all know we can't skip this final step. Come on now. I'm going to apply some cuticle oil. You guys, you need this. This helps to nourish your cuticles to keep them nice and healthy. And you guys, you want to make sure that you're taking care of those cuticles, okay? If the nails is cute, the cuticles got to be cute too, okay? So I'm applying that cuticle oil. And this is my favorite cuticle oil. It's from the brand Cuccio. I will leave it listed down below for you guys so that y'all can shop it because it is one of my faves. And you guys, this is the final final look uh, I am so happy that I got a chance to fix that broken nail and you guys that is all that you have to do in order to make sure that your nails are on fleek at home okay save yourself a coin okay that $60 that you was going to spend at the nail salon yeah okay you can pick up a few nail supplies with that nonetheless you guys this is all that I have for you guys on today if you found this video enjoyable or helpful, make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well as for that like button, girl. And I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Make sure to also check out Maddie's Glam Life for more content of mine.